guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a plan with me for fall decorating. All right, you guys, like I said, plan with me for fall decorating today. We're gonna hop right into it. I've already recorded a 20 minute clip. I wasn't happy with it. I was all over the place. So let's see if I can get my jumbled, jumbled thoughts into one concise 12 minute video for you guys. All right, so how I plan my rooms out. I need to start by telling you guys that I am doing an overhaul. We are we are completely redoing the theme of the house this fall. Um, I want it to be more farmhousey than like a boho farmhouse. I love the boho farmhouse feel for springtime and summertime. It's a great feel for the sun for those warmer months. But as soon as I come into fall and winter time, I want to feel cozy. I want it to feel cozy in here. I want those warmer textures, those warmer colors. So let's hop right into what I plan to do for my color palette. Color palette for this fall. I will have something similar posted right here for you guys. I plan to do lots of example pictures and um, pins that I have been inspired by. I'll do pan overs of the areas that I plan to decorate, etc. Um, also got this video idea from my friend Kaylin Cash, so make sure that you guys head over to her channel and give her some love. She's one of my really good friends here on YouTube. She has the most amazing farmhousey like decor touch. It's so cute. Anyways, go and give Kaylin some love. Let's hop into that color palette here as an example for you. I am loving the mustard yellows, the rust colors. Um, a little bit of gray, the muted greens, just more of a neutral um, palette. I, I always have gravitated towards more of a neutral palette. I've done a lot of like green pumpkins and things like that. I already have a lot of like white pumpkins. Um, I've already ha I already have a couple of green pumpkins. Um, I do have a couple of plaid ones. A little bit more dramatic than what I'm going for this year. This year is very warm and comfy and cozy. So starting with all of the shelves, I have way, way too many shelves in my house and they're so hard to decorate, um, especially since a lot of them. So these guys, um, these two rooms, there's the living room and then there's, there's the dining room and I've got shelves behind me in the dining room and shelves across from me in the living room and they're so hard to decorate just because I have to, they have to kind of mimic each other and accent each other a little bit, but they need to stand out from each other. It's so hard for me to decorate these things, you guys. And I feel like I'm a fairly decent decorator, designer, I don't know. Anyway, um, what I plan to do with the shelf, with the shelves, the shelves, um, I'm gonna do a pan over here for you guys right now. I have a lot of shelves to decorate. So these guys are going to be re-sanded down into a driftwood. We might even take the pipes off and just do floating shelf style. We're not super set on either one yet. Uh, but we do know that we would like to get it done before the end of August and really warm that area up because the dark wood on the dark wall is just not working and it doesn't pop and it just, it feels so dark and cold. Um, it's kind of fun for Halloween, but uh, just every other season, it, it's just kind of a pain in the butt to decorate. So we're gonna do some driftwood stain on those shelves and I'm going to warm it up with some um, I want to do more of like some leather and some knitted textures and some wood textures. Wood textures and wood baskets are a really good way to warm up a shelf immediately. So one of my most favorite ones is the one behind me where it's a seagrass like woven um, basket. You can get them super cheap on Amazon. Now that you guys kind of have an idea of like what the area looks like, um, I'm going to give you a couple of example pictures. So. Here is a couple of inspiration photos that I have for this fall. Um, I'm really hoping to kind of carry on with the same theme throughout the house. I want a lot of maple leaf garland. I'm really loving those maple leaf garlands this year that look like they're like real uh, maple leaves. I'm loving those types of garlands. I'm also loving the muted greens um, where it's almost like a eucalyptus looking kind of green and it like hangs from the shelves. I really am loving that. Um, as well as like wheat and just a lot of natural elements to my fall decor this year. I'm, I'm really feeling inspired by the natural elements. So on my mantle, my mantle I feel like is my main area and I'm really struggling with that. 
Um, sometimes what I will do when I'm struggling with an area and I need to envision it, um, that is one thing that I always pride myself on is I feel like I can envision the space and how it's going to look before I actually do it. Um, it's one of, it's like my superpower. It's my most favorite thing and decorating is like my most favorite pastime as well. It's, it's just, I'm addicted to it you guys. I'm totally addicted to it. So, but sometimes if I'm just struggling or if you guys struggle with envisioning things and how things will come together, my most favorite thing to do is actually to utilize Pick Monkey and Microsoft Word Docs. So I will go on to Pick Monkey. I'll drag a bunch of pictures or uh, like photos of things that I found online um, that I'm feeling inspired by. So items at like Target or Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby, and I will remove the background from those photos, and then I'll just kind of stagger them all together either on Pick Monkey, um, just on like a bl blank canvas type of. Um, like template or I will move them over to Microsoft Docs and that's how I did it for a long time like even back gosh I've been doing this for so long since like high school that's this is how I've been doing my um, room put together is like when we moved into this house I envisioned all of my rooms this way by combining all of the pictures of all these different items that I thought would go together nicely um, including like shiplap right and I put like a shiplap um, little um, like sample in there um, so that I could see how things would look with shiplap or with gray etc it's a great tool um, probably one of the best tips that I'm including in today's video so make sure you head over to pick monkey hashtag not sponsored but it is such a helpful tool it's such a helpful tool to see if the pieces that you love will really come together and you can even stagger them as you would on your shelf you can resize them it's amazing I highly highly recommend that so anyways, a couple more example pictures here for you guys. I plan on doing lots of um, like sanded down chippy paint signs and lots of like words and sayings. I'd love to include a couple of signs down in the entryway um, that look a little bit like this um, and then maybe have some like acorn garland around them a little to warm them up. Um, behind me on this shelf, I'm totally taking everything down and redoing it. I might reuse a couple of these pieces, but again, with the farmhouse theme, more of a farmhouse theme, I'm going to do a large picture on top. This is like pumpkin patch, staggering pumpkin, something similar to this right here is what I'm hoping to do. Um, and then as far as like the bottom shelf, that is the shelf I struggle with the most. The one right behind me down here because I just have a couple of like these woven baskets. It's so hard to see, but I have a couple of woven baskets and I might keep those down there. I just don't know what to do with that bottom shelf. Um, and I need it to be kid friendly too, so that if Riker gets his little hands on something, it's not, it's not going to break, etc. So anyway, I have a trouble, I have trouble decorating these bottom two shelves just because Riker grabs everything off of them and throws it in the vent. So I have to keep it kid friendly. So as far as dining room, like tablescaping, um, because that is for me one of the most fun parts of decorating is getting your tablescape put together. I already have a really good start um, as to what I am envisioning and thinking of. I did just order in um, this really cute table runner off of Amazon, um, which I, I'll have this link down below for you because I think it was like $12. And I think that this is going to go great with both my fall thing and my Thanksgiving decor and possibly even my Christmas decor. I think it would be a perfect like base for all of those seasons. Um, but I really want to incorporate those. I want to do like almost like a navy plaid with kind of a rust color. Oh my gosh, what happened? You look like the disco um, troll. Hi. Show me me. <laughs> I am going to start hopping into a couple of websites here quickly that I am going to use for fall shopping. Over on Target, I think that they have some really, really great stuff out already for fall. Um, one thing that I plan to do right away, the first thing that I'm going to buy is this rust linen um, bed set. It's like a duvet cover set. Um, I'll leave a picture here for you guys. It is so beautiful. Um, and I think that 
turning my room into like a fall theme will be so easy with that color. I've been dying to have this like rust cocoa looking type of color in my room for a while now. So I'm super excited to finally get that up there. For as signs, I did just want to include really quickly too that I will be having DIYs on my channel and over on my M&M Rustics channel for the signs that I plan to uh, make for the house. For those of you who do not know, I used to make wooden signs um, for like, actually I did it for like two and a half years and we were over on Etsy and we got so crazy busy popular that we literally had to shut our Etsy shop down. We couldn't keep up with it. It was, it was crazy. So now we just do local orders um, and I do not do signs anymore. We just do furniture, but I'm going to give you a bunch of my secrets for making some really, really cute fall signs um, and how to take your Pinterest ideas um, and turn them into signs yourself for less than $5 because it is so cheap you guys to make your own signs. Um, all you need is some transfer paper or if you have a Cricut um, that's even better but I have done it both ways and I promise you both ways turn out really well. So that is what's coming for you guys in regards to the signs because I will not be buying any of those. I'll be making them myself. Um, I plan to do a lot of chippy votas like this example picture hoping to get those from like Hobby Lobby half off sometimes they can still be a little bit spendy um, so I might even hit up like the dollar store I might look at some thrift stores um, maybe the Facebook buy sell that's a really great place to buy secondhand um, decorations for super cheap um, and I can kind of paint them and like chip them up myself and give you guys some really fun ideas for cheap DIYs at home um, but I want to have a lot of like candles. Um, I'm really feeling inspired by this picture right here. This is my color scheme. Um, I also saw this over on Kaylin's channel. Saw this on Kaylin's video. Oh my gosh, I'm just loving it so much. This has been the main pin for me for fall 2020. I'm loving that muted green sign. I'm loving those maple leaves. I'm loving the like rust pillows with like that aztec -y and then just like the warm textures. All of it is speaking right to my heart. So definitely we'll be um, doing a lot of shopping for those. And actually I found a few on Amazon. So here are a couple of pictures of some that I found on Amazon. I'll leave a link for those down below. So my front porch typically always looks the same. Um, every fall it's going to look a little bit different this year because we redid that front porch and it just looks so much more rich and it has more depth. I'm loving the contrast between the colors right now. Um, but I do have my fall signs that I put out every year. They're actually reversible. So on one side it's for fall, on the other side it is for Halloween and then I switch it back around again for Thanksgiving. Um, I do have a DIY for those and I will leave a link down below for that. Uh, those are super cute, they're super easy, cost me less than $25 for both of those signs. Another picture that I'm feeling super inspired by this year is this one. Um, I do not have a little sofa table. Um, that I can do this with. I'm I'm hoping, just because my the setup of my house, I don't want there to be too, too much on the walls where it feels busy or it doesn't blend together nicely. Um, but I do have a little table upstairs um, at the very like top of the landing that I think would be cute to decorate around. I just, I can't decide if I wanna do a sign or if I wanna do like a big large square mirror. Um, but this picture here is one of my absolute favorites that I'm really loving all of the colors that are going on in that picture, especially look at that coffee mug, it's so cute. Also wanted to include that I have wanted to get our media center done for a long time now. Um, we make media centers in m and Rustics. It's one of like our main things that we make for other uh, people. So for our customers, they order media centers all the time and we just haven't gotten around to making ourselves one yet, which is super unfortunate because they're so cute. Uh, finally, this fall for my birthday, I asked Mike for a media center. So I'm finally going to get that in my living room this fall and I plan to do a really fun DIY for the front of it. So my media center, just in a nutshell, I'm gonna create this up for you guys. The media center is going to have one door on it. Usually our media centers have two doors. I want one big door and I want it to be very simple. Um, and then on the front of it, I would like it to have two metal straps. Now what those two metal straps will be for is so that I can attach um, a removable um, fireplace insert. So right here I will have a little picture for you guys. 
Um, it's like a faux log fireplace insert and I saw this, I fell in love with it, I saw so many people doing it, but I thought, what then, what if it was removable, right? So what if you could take it on and off? And then I ended up finding a pin where it was removable um, and I'm super excited to give that a try because for fall, so like September through October um, would be super fun to like fancy it up with some like leaves and just, just this like, uh, just warm colors and then you switch over into Christmas because November I start decorating for Christmas inside and I would love to do like some um, evergreens and like in in combination with that faux fireplace it would be so cute so anyway stay tuned for that DIY because that will be coming very soon as well um, a lot of these decoration ideas you guys can tell are DIY ideas guys you don't have to go out and spend a ton to make your house look super cute even if you knew how to dry maple leaves I bet you you could Pinterest it if you knew how to dry maple leaves you would have all of the garland that you need you can DIY so much of this but if you guys want to have some links to the stuff that I've been talking about today, I'll make sure that they're linked down below for you guys. Plan to do a shop with me, so a fall decoration shop with me and showing you guys what I got at the very end, so doing a haul at the end of that video. I'll be doing a combination of in-store and online. I'm hoping to get to Hobby Lobby this week and record that for you guys in Home Goods and record that. Um, and then the rest of my pieces I will likely just order off of Amazon so that it's super quick and easy fast links for you Anyways, all right I hope that wasn't too all over the place for you guys today and I gave you a little bit of inspiration for your fall decor um, My brain goes a million miles an hour when it comes to decorating and talking about decorating but I hope that some of these tips and tricks that I have talked about today, whether it be the pick monkey or going on to Pinterest or DIYing a lot of it. I hope I gave you guys some ideas how you can incorporate fall into your home and keep yourself on a budget and still have a lot of fun with it. I'm so excited to share all the things fall with you kicking off the fall stuff today with this video. So all right, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, and I will see you tomorrow for a day in the life because this week I'm running behind, so you guys will be getting videos Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, you lucky ducks. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for another really fun video. Bye, guys.